Hi Dr. Sandeep, my relatives has breast cancer. What are the tests to detect and when to start the tests? The whole idea of identification of breast cancer early has come up because of the specialized tests that are available for breast cancer detection. Now there are two ways you can detect breast cancer. One is the tests which will detect it before the first signs of breast cancer is seen. We have already discussed about the breast cancer signs, early signs in our earlier videos. The idea of the test is to detect it even before the first sign appears. Can it be done? Yes, it can be done very, very well. So how do we do it? There is a test called mammography. In fact, many of you might have heard about it. So that is the test which is designed to detect those small changes, very, very tiny changes in the breast, which will indicate that there is a chance that there may be a cancer. So that is the idea of doing mammography. You know, we will be covering what is mammography in more detail as we go on in the series. But what you have to understand about mammography and the result that comes out of it is that whenever mammography is done, it detects very small changes like, you know, what we call as microcalcification or some architectural changes. Means, you know, it will tell us that you know, there is something abnormal. And what do we do when we see it? We go ahead and do a biopsy. Biopsy means we take a small amount of tissue from there using a needle and test it under the microscope. So that will give us an idea about whether this looks dangerous or it looks safe. So the entire idea of doing mammography is not that you are having a problem already. In fact, it is done when you don't have any problem. So when do you decide to do it then? So that is an important question because you know, if you don't have any problem, then there should be a reason to do it. So it is done only when you have crossed a certain age, which means a cutoff age group beyond which your risk of breast cancer is higher. So generally, in practice, we believe that 45 years of age group is the age group wherein we can start doing mammography. So a mammography done or begun at the age of 45 and above, which is done once in a year, to a great extent detect about 70% of the cancers, breast cancers. 70% is good enough because you know, when we detect 70%, we can prevent a major treatment in that 70% of the patients. So it is always worth doing that test to detect maximum amount of breast cancers before even they produce the first sign or symptom of cancer. The second important thing that has to be done or followed is that every woman should do breast self-examination once in a month. Now, this once in a month examination generally has to be timed in a particular fashion. See now when we are talking on breast self-examination which will be covered in detail in our next few videos but what is it that we are talking about? We are talking about the woman examining herself in various ways and looking for any changes in the breast. So if she sees some change that needs to be further investigated. So it could be or it has to be brought to the notice of a qualified doctor so that you know further things can be done, further tests can be done. We can confirm what it is. So the entire idea of breast self-examination is to raise a suspicion and come to a doctor. How it has to be done will be described in detail in our ensuing videos. Now once that happens, we will be able to detect a cancer little earlier than in an advanced stage. What age do you have to really start it? We would advise or internationally we advise every individual to look at their or examine their breasts at least once in a month. Now, how do we time it? Timing is also very important. In a postmenopausal lady, that is, you know, people whose menstrual periods have stopped, it is to be done once in a month on a fixed date. You fix a date, say first of every month. That's perfectly fine. Whereas in a person who's menstruating, it is important to time it in such a way that, you know, it is about one week after your periods are over. 
so that you get used to a particular consistency of the breast and you can find out okay this is how it feels so any change in the breast can be reported or you know you can go to the doctor for further treatment or for the diagnosis what age do you start this you know internationally it is advised to start at least at the age of 20 so it is perfect anybody you know any the person above the age of 20 can start it is simple you're not testing you're not going to a doctor you're not doing anything else it is done in your bedroom in your bathroom so it is as simple as that so you know with these measures you will be able to detect anything that is suspicious and you can escape going through an extensive treatment you can make it very very simple for yourself